are gonna pretend like my hair looks all right, you know? It's 11 o'clock at night, I don't care. Hey y'all, it's me Cecilia, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a very exciting video. <laughs> I hit 1,000 subscribers recently, which is so amazing. Thank you to everybody who have subscribed to me. This is awesome and it happened on Sunday. I'm filming this on Tuesday night and I figured I would post this on Thursday, my birthday. I'm turning 22. Yas, let's go. I've been drinking. I've had a screwdriver before, but then I put like three shots. Two shots of vodka. <laughs> but I'm here <laughs> for a Q&A. I asked you guys on Twitter. I'll put I don't know if I'm gonna be lazy, we'll see. Um, I put a tweet out asking you guys for questions and I figured, you know, let's do a Q&A. This is not in any particular order. This is just the order that Twitter is giving, me, giving them to me. So yeah, so let's just get into it, honestly. Dream city or place you want to live? Ooh, that one's hard. Um. I, want, I would love to move back to San Diego again. I grew I grew up in San Diego County for like 18 years of my life. I would love to move back. Um, outside of that, I don't know. I feel like I haven't explored enough to truly know like where I would love to live. So once I travel more, hit, get, get me back with that question. An author I'd love to meet. Ooh, um, N.K. Jemison. I feel like it would just be a fun time. I just, I have, I'm a stan. <laughs> If you had to live 365 days as a sea creature, which one would you be? See, I want to just go straight to mermaid. I love, I love mermaids. But I feel like it would be fun to be a blue whale. Don't, don't ask me why. <laughs> or maybe a jellyfish. Okay, I would want to be a jellyfish. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. What do you have against the letter C in the word chick? Is it because your name starts with a C? <laughs> So I called you out on the group chat and you know what, I'm going to finally answer you. So my name, that Disney chick, came from, so it's it's it started off as my Instagram handle and I changed it in about 2014, 2015-ish and I had gotten my like Disneyland pa like pass holder, annual pass holder, whatever, pass in 2012 and I was like, you know what? I'm going to school soon. I'm going to be 10 minutes away from like Disneyland. I'm going to make Instagram Disney content. I was like, I'm going to be a Disney yay. And that was, that was my inspiration. That didn't happen. <laughs> so, but when I was thinking about that, I was like, okay, I need to have like a Disney name. So I was like, oh, I don't know how I came up with that Disney chick, but that came up, that just came to my head. But the name with the CK, was taken so I was just like you know what let's be edgy and just do C-H-I-K and then when I made a YouTube channel it just made sense to just make my YouTube name the same as my Instagram handle and that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay um what's your favorite anime or manga series? Ah, oh, see okay manga? Ooh um okay I would say my favorite manga series would be the Orisa series. I read that if you want more of my thoughts, I think I talked about it more in my... Did I do a December wrap-up? If I did a December wrap-up, it'll be there. But I finished off the series, and it is such a good <laughs> series. It's like, we followed these twin girls. They had been separated for a long time because their parents are divorced, so one twin lives with one parent, and one twin lives with the other parent. And they decided, they're like, hey, we're going to secretly meet up and just have a good fun day. And one of the girls, Orisa has been depressed and so she jumps out the window and commits suicide or doesn't commit suicide she jumps out of the window trying to commit suicide but she ends up in a coma and her sister Subasa was like what happened they had been communicating through letters and Subasa was like in your letters you were hella happy I don't understand what happened so Subasa goes undercover as Arisa in her school to figure out what was going on. It's trippy, it's 12 volumes. I think it's going out of print. <laughs> so I don't know if you can read it anymore, but it's literally so good. So if you can find it, I highly recommend. Anime, 
I don't know. Literally right after this video I'm going to film a tier ranking of all the anime I've ever watched. So hopefully in that video I'll be able to give a final answer, but at the moment I have no clue. What is one hobby other than reading and YouTube that you can't live without? Ooh, a hobby that I can't live without. I guess I would say it would be bowling. I've been a bowler since I was about six or seven. My dad got me into bowling because he's always been playing in leagues ever since I can remember and before I was even born. And so I've always been competing in leagues. I have been like all throughout high school as well. I've won a trophy for bowling. Um, and then once I hit college, there wasn't really a bowling rink near me. So I didn't bowl as often, but I still went every time I went. I have my own bowling balls, my own bowling shoes, my own bowling equipment, the whole nine yards. And I really need to go back to competitive bowling. I plan on doing that after this quarantine is over. I will go back to bowling competitively. I need to get my average back up because I can bet you it's probably shit at this moment. It's probably terrible, but that's I love bowling. It's one of my favorite things to do ever. If you if you you probably shouldn't take me anywhere to go bowling because I get very competitive about it, especially I get competitive I'm just a competitive person in that way, but bowling I would say is my hobby outside of books. What is my favorite song? Do I have one? <laughs> I feel like I have like some general fit. Oh, I do have a favorite song. Birthday Party by AJR. AJR is my favorite band of all time. They're fucking amazing. I've seen them once. I was supposed to actually see them on my birthday with my ex, but we broke up and you know, COVID happened and of course the, can the concert got cancelled so you know hmm. I was supposed to see them for my birthday but it's okay I've already seen them and I didn't pay for the tickets so whatever <laughs> but yes birthday party by AJR y'all should go check out that entire album Neo Theater it is so good and that specific song you know I'm gonna be blasting it on my birthday too <laughs> oh and the song don't throw out my Legos from that exact same album slaps sl slaps What's your favorite video you filmed and why? Ooh, favorite one I've filmed. I really enjoyed filming my um, one year on booktube video. I've also enjoyed filming my um, is booktube killing the planet video. It's one of my, I think it's my favorite video I've ever made on my channel. I'm very, very proud of it. It kind of, it just can like brings together my love of environmental science with books and I just think it's a very important video that I think everyone should watch. I need to watch back on it. I hope it's not stupid. <laughs> but I love that video and I think that's the one I would put for this answer. If you could choose any book to erase from existence, what would it be? Ooh, ooh um, <laughs> if I say that y'all are gonna come for me. If I say it, y'all are gonna come for me. Red, white, and royal blue? I'm that's it. I'm <laughs> not gonna explain my answer. I really hate that book. Red, white, and royal blue. That's my answer. Um, has booktube changed your reading tastes or habits at all? Uh, other than making me read more, I guess I would say it's changed where I find books recommendations at least. I say before I found booktube, how I found books was pretty much whatever I found at the thrift store. I would see. A cover and I'd be like that looks like a cool cover I'd read like the back and I'm like if it sounded interesting I bought it if it didn't it didn't and that was how that was the only way I was able to know books or if I recognize an author and I'd be like hey you know I read a book from that author let me read another one that was only that was the only way I was able to know about books or how I got books if it wasn't at the thrift store I didn't read it so yeah I guess just the way I get books, now I get most of my recommendations either from booktube or pretty much just from booktube. <laughs> if you could have a monster as a pet, what would it be? Ooh, a monster as a pet. Um, I think I would go with a griffin. I don't... <laughs> Hear me out. I feel like having a griffin would be like having a lion, but more edgy. And I don't know, but the more edgy version just sounds more like me. 
so I feel like having a griffin would just be badass. Like, it's like that or having a dragon. It would just be badass. And you know, I want to flex through my pets. You know? <laughs> what character do you most want to cosplay? I have, okay, the next cosplay I have geared up is to be Katara painted up as the painted lady. I want to do that cosplay so badly. I feel like, first of all, since I haven't cosplayed in a couple years, I feel like this would be a kind of an easy one to construct. You know, I don't have to do any armor or anything super detailed. So I think this would be a perfect starter to go with. And I just love, I feel like I would just look so mystical and mysterious and that's kind of all I want. <laughs> Favorite breakfast food? Oh my gosh, I love me some waffles. <laughs> During the first three weeks of quarantine, I made myself a waffle every morning for breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't, I didn't even change the kind of waffles. Sometimes I threw chocolate chips in it, but that was really it. It was just waffles every freaking day and I was not sick of it. You know what? Waffles are delicious. What was your best booktube moment and your worst booktube moment? Ooh, um, my best booktube moment? I want to say I was hitting 1k. I really, I don't know why. I, I kept checking. I was at 9.99 for like the longest time and I was just sitting there like waiting like, come on. And I don't know. I really, Sunday was great. <laughs> um, my worst booktube moment? Hmm. That, ooh, that's hard. Um, I guess it would be during the times when I felt so lonely on booktube. I feel like it's either the beginning or like a part where if you don't, if you feel like you don't have a lot of friends in booktube, it can feel very isolating. And whenever I felt like I was lonely or by myself, I never really wanted to make content. So it was during those times where I was like, do I even, why do I have a channel? I don't even want to make content right now. I don't know. I don't have any friends. Like I'm getting like two comments on a video. Like I, I, f I felt that a couple times, but I'm feeling much better about my content and my channel and my videos and y'all are commenting all the time, which just makes me feel happy and giddy inside. So yes. <laughs> all right. Biggest pet peeve in books. Um, oh, when love triangles are not actually triangles. Like you can't tell me that two people falling in love with one person and they don't fall for each other. That's not a triangle. There's a V or an arrow or you know a tent it's it's not a v unless everyone's in love with each other it's not a love triangle and it pisses me off when that's the case <laughs> love these i'm not down for it love triangle like an actual triangle sign me the fuck up like i will <laughs> i will read that till the end of time says your rec for anime or manga for someone who's never read any my rec for anime i think i'm gonna go Ooh. See, I kind of want to go with the one that I went for, but it's kind of popular, would just be Death Note. That was my starting anime, and I think it's a really good gateway anime. If not that one, I would go with... Oh, this one's also popular. But I think it's also a good gateway would be My Hero Academia. They're both kind of shonen series, and they're both really, really good. So... I highly recommend both of them. I didn't really talk about them, but if you watch my next video, you'll hear me talk about both of them. So yeah. Um, and my rec for manga who people who have not gotten into manga. Um, see, this one's hard too. I think I would go with, I think the silent voice is a good one. If you want more of a shoujo series, um, that one, I'm currently reading at the moment. I just read the first volume and I think it's a perfect starter. Um, if you want more of a shonen, I think Magi. I think Magi is a very good series to start with. Um, it's just nice and immersive and fun. So I've been reading that series for a while and I've watched the anime as well. The anime is good as well. So yes, but those are my recommendations. <laughs> what music artist would you recommend at the moment? <laughs> Um, I don't want to recommend AJR again because I just recommended them or told you guys about them, but I think another artist that I absolutely love would be one of my faves, Julia Michaels. She is 
queen I, I love her so much and she her her music ooh, just the perfect vibing music I just want to go every time I listen to her her newest album slaps especially the song anxiety who do you remember your dreams in the morning most of the time I'm a very vivid dreamer and I dream about very creepy or random things so when in the mornings I tend to remember them but not for very long usually until like an hour after um what's your favorite movie that is not a book adaptation I guess I would say Back to the Future I'm pretty sure there's no move there's no book <laughs> and I know it wasn't a book adaptation so Back to the Future I freaking love that movie the entire trilogy fantastic and then what is your favorite movie that's a book adaptation Technically, Treasure Planet, it's like a retelling of a book, so I'm count- Ugh. Treasure Planet is my favorite movie of all time. I love it. I have a $75 art print dedicated to it, so of course, you know, I love it. It is literally perfection. Three things you love about yourself. <laughs> That's a bit to be like, I can't think of what. I would, I would say, I feel like I'm just a funny per- I don't know. I feel like I'm a funny person. Um, I'm not the funniest, but I feel like I can I can crack some good jokes. I feel like I'm just like fun to be around in that kind of way. Um, number two, I feel like I give good advice. And number three, I'm a good I'm a fun time. I'm a good. I'm the kind of person that if like, I will put myself to the sidelines in order to make my friends feel better so if you're in the sad spot bitch I'm there I will dedicate my goddamn day to you like I will cancel my appointments cancel it all I will be there for you and I feel like I'm just a good I'm a good best friend I'm the <laughs> I'm the minority best friend to the white girl protagonist <laughs> what are your favorite comic to screen adaptations oh um Honestly, there's not a lot. I mean, I feel like the movies and the comics are so different from each other. Like, for an example, the relationship that I, that um, Tony Stark and Peter Parker have in the movies, that doesn't exist in the comics. Like, there's so many aspects to the movies that just are not part of the comics that it's really hard to make a comparison to that. And my favorite comics don't have movie comparisons to them. So I really don't have one. <laughs> what is a movie you can watch slash book you can read all over or over and over again? My favorite movie to um, when I need a good pick me up is Muppet Treasure Island. Um, <laughs> it is literally one of my favorites since I um, I don't have Disney Plus at the moment, but when I did for like a couple months, it was l I literally watched it like five times because it's l so good. I all I have all the songs memorized by heart. It is my favorite, my favorite. It's one of my favorite Muppet movies. It's an adaptation of a book I hated, but I love all the adaptations that come from it. It's got pirates, you know, everything I've ever wanted. I'm not, I'm gonna ask a couple more because I feel like I've been filming, I've been filming for like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna ask a couple more, scroll through them really quickly. I'm sorry I can't answer everybody's. The best thing about Texas in your opinion there's not a lot <laughs> as you know as you guys know I've lived in Texas for about a year now um, my least favorite place I've lived I've lived in Arizona and I've lived in California and I don't I just don't like Texas um, everything generally mostly is cheaper like gas oof rent oof just just cheaper my favorite animated TV show um, is definitely Futurama um, okay outside of anime it's Futurama. Futurama is has been my favorite since high school. I've watched Futurama all the way through about 11 times and literally anytime I'm just in a bad mood or I just don't want to watch any of the shows I'm currently watching I will put on an episode of Futurama and I'm just having a good day you know. Futurama just makes me happy. And my f What is your favorite go-to meal when you aren't in the mood for anything? SpaghettiOs? <laughs> that sounds if you've had spaghettios, you know. It's been, it's like one of my favorite childhood foods I've ever eaten. I love it and I still love it and so anytime I'm just like I need a comfort meal, anytime I'm like I can't decide what I want to eat, 
put in some SpaghettiOs on the stove top and I'm Gucci, is tell five random facts about you that you may have not revealed on your channel before. Um, I have to think. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, I feel like I talk about a lot of things on my channel, but I feel like I don't talk a lot. I don't know, does that make sense? I don't think I've ever talked about this. I used to be a Girl Scout, that's number one. Actually, I'm technically still a Girl Scout. I don't know if I've talked about that on my channel, but you know what? Talk about it again. This is really hard. <laughs> well, I have won a, um, a math award when I was in um, middle school. One of the top math performer. It was like an African-American math award, so one of the top um, highest graded or best performing math people at, <laughs> in San Diego County so I have photos somewhere I don't look great but you know it's fine I have worked at the Grand Canyon which is fun I've been to I think 15 national parks so far so yes <laughs> I've only left the country once I went to um, Mexico I went to Ensenada on a cruise, it was really fun, but I have grand plans to leave the country or the U leave the US more often. I really want to one day. <laughs> Before, I used to be obsessed with Pokemon, okay, I still am, but specifically Pokemon cards. Me and my friends would play the Pokemon card game. I went to tournaments as a kid and um, I literally would just play Pokemon cards all the time. I still have some of them. <laughs> Like, I had some weird obsessions as a kid, like American Girl dolls, I had so many of them, um, just little things like that. I feel like my life is boring, like what do I talk about? <laughs> I have an obsession with tea. I have about 20 different kinds of tea in my house. I love tea. I have one usually every day. My favorite flavor of tea is like hibiscus or passion tea. I love fruity teas. For someone who won a math award, you sure can't do math because that was like seven different facts. So I don't know what the hell you were on. I mean, you were drinking, so I can't fault you for that. Okay, this is a good one. What do you study and why and how does your field of study influence your reading? So I'm currently majoring in environmental science and I eventually want to go um, to graduate school. I want to get a master's in oceanography. So I eventually either want to be a marine biologist or work in some kind of ocean conservation. And how that affects my reading is that you'll see me read a lot of environmental kind of nonfiction. Um, I don't talk about it a whole lot on my channel because I know people don't care about that, <laughs> but I do read it. Um, and I can a lot of times tell if a book features that kind of environmental stuff, if it's good or bad rep. Like I just, right before I filmed this video, I read Aquacorn Cove by Katie Henry. It's like a cute little graphic novel about pretty much ocean conservation and the um, research that Katie Henry put into that book was really good at least from my perspective of all of everything that I've learned. In the back it talks about coral reefs and what's happening and I love coral reefs. It's a specialty that I definitely want to go into. So yes, I, I've, I've literally wrote three essays last semester about coral reefs I don't need anymore. But Katie Henry did really good on her research. And I feel like it should be talked about more in books. I feel like it's not, but I feel like it really should be, honestly. And no, this is the perfect last one. What do you have planned next for your channel? Any changes? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I think this is a perfect good ending question. So what I have planned for my channel is that I want to, of course, make more videos. I would love to. My plan is I want to go on a bi-weekly weekly I want to I want to put out two videos a week I'm um, thinking Thursdays and Sundays hence why this one's going up on a Thursday my next video will go up on a Sunday I think that's just a good schedule for me I want to incorporate more comics and manga on my channel I'm gonna next starting this month I guess I'm gonna be starting um, a separate wrap-up for my comics and manga which will be fun I want to do more I guess themed vlogs so I have a couple vlog ideas in the future like I only read pirate books or like um, I'm reading the highest rated books on my TBR etc. If you have any examples for that let me know. But yeah guys that's it for today. Thank you for 1k and um, thank you for coming and watching my birthday Q&A slash 1k Q&A. Um, if you've made it to the end of my video please leave a um, this emoji the what is it, the fireworks emoji? That one. Please leave that down in the comments below. But yes, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you in another video. Peace.